Hi everyone and welcome to this video. So in this video we're going to be looking at serializers and how we can use them in Django's framework. In the previous video we went ahead and defined API views that allow us to basically turn HTTP requests into responses and we looked at the difference between Django's default views and REST framework views. Now in this video we're going to be creating serializers and we need to create a database model because serializers allow us to turn database model objects into a data type that can be readable by front-end JavaScript applications. Now we're going to begin by creating our database model. So I'm going to go within our posts app. And within our posts app, I'm going to go within our models.py file right here. And I'm going to begin by defining our database model. But before I do that, let me actually first model it out here so that you can get a clear understanding of what you're going to do. So this is going to be a class that's going to have a name of post and it's going to have the following fields. So we're going to have the ID field and this field is going to be actually automatically created for us by Django. We shall have our title and this is going to be a string that's going to have a max length of 50. Now we're also going to have a content. So this is going to actually be our text and we shall have the date or the date we actually created a post. So this is going to be, let me actually call it created. And this is going to be a date time object. Now that we have this, let's go ahead and define our posts. So I'm going to come and write a class. So this class is actually going to represent our post table in our database. So we're going to have it as post and it's going to inherit from models.model. Now we're going to first define our title because our ID is already generated for us by Django. So our title is going to be models.carfield. And in this case, we shall have our max length as 50. And then we shall have our content. So in this case, our content is going to be models. So this is going to be a text field. And we're also going to have the date at which you created this post. So we're going to begin by saying created and this is going to be models dot. So this is a date time field we shall call date time and we're going to provide a default. So we shall specify the attribute of auto now add and this is going to be equal to true because we need to save this post each time we create it. So we need to save the data to which you created this post. I'm going to come and specify it to be true. Now we need some sort of method that's going to allow us to return string representations of our post objects. Now I'm going to define that. I'm going to define that as our dunder str method. So it's going to return a string, but I'll, I'll simply remove this and say that we're going to return our title. So it's going to actually return our title. And now we have been able to create our post table or our post model. Now, after creating our post model, let's go ahead and create a migration for this with Python, money.py, and then make migrations. And then to basically uh, write this table into our database, we're going to actually do that with Python, manage.py, and then migrate. So after doing this, then we're going to go ahead and create a serializer that's going to allow us to basically turn all our post objects into JSON. So the way we're going to do that is by first populating our database with some objects. So I'll do that with Python. Actually, I'm running Python and then money.py. So I'm going to enter our Python shell right here. I'm going to begin by importing our post model. So I'll do that with from posts dot models we are going to import our post model class and now let's go ahead and create some objects of our post so i'll begin by creating our new post so i'm going to create this as new post one and this is going to be a post object and it's going to have a title of let's say uh react js for haters and we're going to actually have a content and this content is actually going to be uh, this is a video for, let's just say for React haters. And we're going to go ahead and save this post with new post. 
one dot save and now we're going to create another post object so i'll do this with new post two, and this is going to be a post so we shall have a title so this title is going to be uh let's just say jungle framework for dummies and then we shall have a content so this content is going to be this is a jungle framework course for beginners so let's say it's going to be a jungle framework course for beginners so i'm also going to go ahead and save this new post that we called new post 2 so i'm going to call the save method and we shall have this saved now let us go ahead and query for all our posts so the way i'm going to do that is by just simply calling post dot objects dot all and this is going to return a query set of all our posts now having done that now let's go ahead and actually create our serializer so i'm going to stop our terminal with ctrl and z and i'm going to close it right now and after closing it then i'm going to simply go within our posts app right here and i'm going to create a new module or a new file which i'm going to call our serializers.py so serializers.py is a file that's going to contain our serializer class for our posts now i'm going to remove that so the first thing we're going to do is to import our serializer package from Django's framework and this is going to contain all the serializers that we may need for for serializing when we're using Django's framework so what i'm going to begin to do is to import it so i'm going to come from rest framework i'm going to come and import our serializers and right after doing this then we're going to create our serializer class so this is going to be a class and we're going to simply call it our post serializer now within our post serializer we shall just inherit from serializers and then each of the serializers that we shall have is going to inherit from the serializer class and then we're going to define each of the fields that we want on this serializer class as we have them on our models so a serializer is going to allow us to validate the data that we pass onto our api as well as return the data that we pass as django database objects into a way that is json so i'm going to come right here and define the fields just like we have them on our model of our posts so i'll begin with our title and this title is going to be a field of a string so the serializer is also going to provide us the different serializer fields so i'm just going to come and define this as a serializer field so this will be a char field and what we have here is going to be the max length so this max length is going to be the same max length that we have here which is going to be 50 characters and then we shall also have the content so the content is going to be a text field and this is going to be serializers dot it's also going to be a char field but shall not define the length and then we are also going to have our created so we shall define this as created and this is going to be serializers dot date time field so since this is a field that we want we want to actually just read or it's a field we won't be creating we want to define it as read only so i'll specify the read only attribute to be true and then i'll do the same thing for our id because we are going to have an id field generated for us by django so i'll just come right here and define our id field as serializers dot integer field and we shall have this as read only as well so i'll just come and say read only and this is going to be read only equals true true now after doing this now we're going to go ahead and basically look at how to use our serializer so i'm going to pull up our terminal right here we're going to go back to our python shell and within our python shell so i'll call our python shell with python money.py and then shell within the shell we're going to be turning our post objects into json as well as converting the json into 
our post objects. So we're going to begin by importing our post serializer. So I'll do that with from posts dot serializers. I'm going to import our post serializer. And right after importing our post serializer, we're also going to import our model class. So I'll come and say from posts dot models, we are going to import our post model. So now we need some sort of post object that we need to convert from post from a post object into JSON. So the way I'm going to do that is by using a, part, a request. Actually, we're going to use a JSON renderer. And these JSON renderers are going to do a very good task of turning our data into JSON. So I'll begin by importing our JSON renderer. I'll do that with from REST framework dot renderers. In this case, we are going to import our JSON renderer. And right after importing our JSON renderer, now I'm going to begin by creating a new post object. So I'll just say new post, and this is going to be a post. So this post will have a title, and let's say it's going to be LAN DRF, and then we are going to go ahead and provide content. So let's say the content of this post is going to be uh, basics of DRF. So we're going to go ahead and save this with new post. Let's actually say that we shall have new post dot save. And right after doing this, then I'm simply going to go ahead and use our serializer to basically convert this into JSON. So the way I'm going to do that is by first creating a, an instance of our serializer. So I'll just come and say the our serializer instance is going to be a post serializer instance. And then within here, we shall pass in our post or we can actually pass in the attribute of instance. So the instance is the data we want to serialize. And in this case, it will be our new post. And right after doing this, now when we call our serializer object, in this case, it's going to return the various fields that this serializer, that our post serializer has. And we can call attributes such as the data. So when you say serializer.data, in this case, it's going to return a dictionary containing all the data that we've passed into our serializer. Now, this is important because now we've seen that we've been able to pass all the validations that we set as descriptions of our post serializer. I'm going to pull up our terminal again. We can also be able to check stuff such as the errors we have in our validations. Now, all our validation errors are within our serializer.errors attribute. And in this case, we haven't called that dot is valid method therefore we cannot be able to access them now we shall look at this in detail in the next videos so i'm going to now uh, be able to show you how we can actually render our json data or our serializer data that we've passed in so the output of this is actually giving us a dictionary now using the json renderer we can be able to turn this into JSON. So what I'm going to do is to use our JSON renderer. So we imported that JSON render already, which is here. So I'm just going to come and say that we're going to create our data. So let's call it, uh, let me actually call it JSON data. And this JSON data is going to be an instance of our renderer. So we're going to have this as an instance of our renderer, and then we shall call the render method. And then we're going to pass in what we need to render, which is going to be our serializer data. So I'll just say serializer.data. And then I'll go ahead and call our JSON data. Now, this is actually going to return our data that was a dictionary right here into JSON. Now, using this data, we can actually also convert this data back to a dictionary that we can finally save in our database. Now, I'm going to do that by coming here. So this the process of actually converting this into a dictionary 
involves us converting into uh, converting this into a stream that we actually have to pass into a parser and then we'll be able to access it as a dictionary so this is going to uh, involve us using the io module and this io module comes within python so we're going to import the io module and then we're going to use this to create a stream from the json data we have right here so i'm just going to come and define our stream as io and then we're going to create an instance of the bytes io class and then right here we shall pass in our json data so right here we actually have a stream and this stream contains our json data now we're going to use a json parser to be able to return this as a dictionary so we're going to import that from rest framework and shall be looking at this in future videos so i'm just going to come and say from rest framework we are going to go ahead and import our json actually this is going to be from rest framework dot parsers we are going to import our json parser class and right after importing our json parser class now we can be able to use this so i'm just going to come and say that we're going to have our so let me actually call it our dictionary data and this will be an instance of our json parser and then we shall pass so we're going to call the method that's going to pass the stream so in this case we shall pass in our stream of data and in this case when we call dict data we're going to have our data back in a form of a dictionary that we can actually go ahead and save using our serializer i hope you found this important so we can also go ahead and look at model serializers so model serializers are classes that are going to allow us to easily create our serializers based on the fields that we have on our model let's look at how we do this so i'm going to get out of our terminal right here and we're going to redefine our post serializer as a model serializer so as to make our work easy so i'm going to clear this and close our terminal for now and i'm going to get rid of our post serializer that we've created here and now we're going to actually go ahead and create a a model serializer so i'll do that with creating a class which is going to be our post serializer and this is going to be our serializers dot model serializer so model serializers actually make our life easy because all we need to do is to define meta class and then we have to define a model attribute so the model in this case it's going to be our post model which we're going to import so i'll come and say from dot models we are going to import our post model and then we define our model as our post model right here then i'll come and define the fields that we want on our serializer so i'm going to define an iterable of fields and this is going to be a list and in here we shall have the various attributes such as the id the title we're going to also have the content so we're going to change this to a comma and then we shall have our created and there we go we have actually redefined our serializer as a model serializer now from now and going on you're actually going to be using model serializers instead of plain serializers we shall also look at some other kinds of serializers in the next videos i hope you've learned from this video and I hope to see you in the next video if you've liked this video please consider leaving a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new thank you for watching guys and see you in the next jungle rest framework video bye